PC users beware. Hey guys, Paul here with Pattech. In this video, I'm going to share some of my trials and tribulations with my new Ninja 5. And um, I'm taking my videos into Camtasia 2021 and not into programs like Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut. And so Camtasia 21 is supposed to uh, handle move files, uh, no problem. But the reality is it does not. And I'm going to show you some workarounds so that you will be able to uh, enjoy all the benefits of your Ninja 5 and at the same time have those files go into Camtasia without any issues. So let's jump in and we'll take a look. So let's start out by trying to import an MOV file uh, that was recorded with the Ninja 5 uh, under the DNX HD codec and we're going to bring it into Camtasia and just see what happens. So if I click on the import media icon here, here's my move file that I used to record the intro with. I'll double click on it and shebang, we get this error message. Okay. Now if we just go back to the import media icon for a second, if you look here across, you can see the move file supported, but in Camtasia 2021, just because that, you know, this, this little uh, acronym is here, or this little extension is here, it doesn't mean the, the MOV file is going to come into the program uh, effortlessly. And so what you'll end up with is the audio plays no video, the video plays no audio. So what we need to do now is, is figure out how to get this MOV file into Camtasia 2021. So on the PC, uh, I use a little program called Handbrake, and Handbrake is a video codec conversion program. It's been around for years, it's open source, it works thoroughly well, it's a simple program, it's not hard on your system, and really all you need to do is you come to open the source, select the file, in this case it's the T003 file, it brings it in, you're going to select your codec, in this case I've chosen hardware, so I'm going to go with M, uh, H.265 NVENC 1080p because that's the size of the video we're making. And then I'm going to come down here and select MP4. You have a couple of choices there, but MP4 is all I really need uh, for this situation. And then uh, once you've made all your selections as to the output of your video, you can simply come up here, you can start the encoding process, and you'll end up with an MP4. Uh, so let's just minimize that and we come over here and if you look in Camtasia now you can see that there's my T0031 MP4 and that's the file that's on the timeline here and it comes into Camtasia there we go we'll just play it for you and at the same time have those files go into Camp. It, it plays just fine so if you're going to use the Ninja 5, just be aware that it's going to export move files, and the PC doesn't play that well with move files. And so that's something that you're going to have to deal with. And so using Handbrake is one option for dealing with those files. Now, something else that you're going to have to contend with, and we'll just jump back to my uh, Explorer here, is that if you were to just select this and click on Open With, and let's try Films and TV. So the audio is playing, but there's no video. PC users beware. Hey guys, Paul here with Pantech. In and so we get an error message. Okay, so some options to deal with that are, I'm gonna right click on here, I'm gonna select open with, and I'm gonna come over and I could, the QuickTime player 7.79 is still available for Windows 10. So if I click on the QuickTime player, and I'll just say no, and it will allow me to play my video just fine. Another option that we have is open with, we can use the VLC player or there's a K-Lite uh, codec pack that you can download and I'll put links in the description to all of these uh, little programs and, and uh, uh, codec packs that you can get access to. And this one here We'll also just play uh, the video. So there are a number of options um, if you just want to have a player. But if you're going to take your video into Camtasia 2021, you're going to have to run the conversion uh, on the MOV file to an MP4.